Right. Um, well, uh, yeah, I mean, I, so I, so I'm in this sort of weird world, right, where I am, um, I teach at a very lovely boarding school, and it's very expensive. And so we service families who, um, again, and I'm being nice here, because I know a lot of them, and they're really, they're good people, but they are, they are eager and willing to sort of um, play the game, right, and to place their children into the track, uh, the the track into, um, you know, not necessarily like the Goldman Sachs track, but you know, this is the high, road to success. Everybody, yeah, knows high it. end, high end bourgeois respectability, right? Hey, God's a funny guy. God does have a sense of humor. Maybe God thinks some people don't deserve to see. You get the point, Jackie? His name is Char. You can say that, can't you? Char. Well, this is Randy. It's a Ranger Choco. Teaching those second lieutenants. Colonel Ickle, Little please. pressure. I bust your windpipe. Colonel, I don't care what he After said to me, all right? Charles. Colonel, just let go, please. <laughs> I mean, so I, I live in that world, and I and I and I, you know, interact with with um, uh, moms and dads who are are are. I, I I sort of call them the working wealthy. You know, these are not like intergenerationally wealthy people in any kind of you know trust fund type sense. But can moms I, and doc, go ahead. Yeah. Can I ask? Are yeah. these the type of people that would somebody would come by and ask him who John Galt was? No. Get her out of here! <laughs> there. Can't believe they're my blood. IQ of sloths and the manners of banshees. He's a mechanic, she's a homemaker. He knows as much about cars as a beauty queen, and she bakes cookies, tastes like wing nuts. As for the tots, they're twits. No. So they're not the industrial magnate, hardworking no, type. No, they are, they are professionals, right? So they, like, you know, mom's a doctor, dad's a lawyer, you know. So they keep the system they, humming the way it was yeah, supposed to. Yeah, okay. right, right. So they, you know, they, uh, you know, live, you know, on the, you know, the, 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 the 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 first the first expensive ring around major cities mm. right and you know they do travel soccer and travel lacrosse and uh, you know take a, vac a a nice vacation you know uh, they drive nice cars but uh, all of it all of the resources are ordered toward getting their kids kind of positioned so that they can be in you know they all know that of course like at Harvard and those kind of things are probably not going to happen but they can put them in these sort of nice fancy places and position people and have them rub the bright shoulders so that they'll be fine professionally right the, so that's the sort of the world the official world that I I am a fringe player uh, on right so mm -hmm. um you know so i am teaching this very old-fashioned um you know old books type thing to them and they love that right they, they 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 understand it enough to be like well it's cool that kale is kind of doing this thing and i'm so happy that we found a place that'll do this thing but really you know really like i want to make sure that my kids are sort of uh you know, back in like the Jane Austen world days of like highfalutin England, like like you want to make sure that your child get, gets the right marriage, right? It's just sort of our version of that kind of class anxiety, right? Oh. So so they do this and they're 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 good at it, right? And but but there's a the palpable fear that it that this track, right, this success script is breaking down. Like the what the path they're on, the, so the, yeah. the parents are are recognizing that maybe this path is now a dead end based on the ship. Not a dead world, end, but not a dead end. Right. But but the slots are coveted and the slots are limited. Mm. So some like it's like it's like it's like musical chairs, right? You know, you know that when you start going around and around and around, then there's seven chairs and eight people. You know, 
one person is going to be left without a chair at the end of the song, right? You know, so so that's the fear. And maybe there's six chairs and ten people. I don't know. I don't know what the exact numbers mm -hmm. are, but they they can feel this. The right? pressure. They, the com yeah, yeah. For their kid yeah. to even be there is always that's there. right. Okay. That's right. And so, so I think this plays into a lot of sort of the, the you know, the mental health crisis, you know, uh, that, that, we, that is real. You are a cover-up artist, and you are a liar. But not a snitch! Excuse me? No, I don't think I will. Mr. Slade. This is such a crock of shit! Please watch your language, Mr. Slade. You are in the Baird School, not a barracks. Mr. Sims, I will give you one final opportunity to speak up. Mr. Sims doesn't want it. He doesn't need to be labeled still worthy of being a bad man. What the hell is that? What is your motto here? Boys, inform on your classmates. Save your hide. Anything short of that, we're going to burn you at the stake? Well, gentlemen, when the shit hits the fan, some guys run and some guys stay. Here's Charlie facing the fire and there's George hiding in Big Daddy's pocket. And what are you doing? You're going to reward George and destroy Charlie. Are you finished, Mr. Slade? No, I'm just getting warmed up. I don't know who went to this place. William Howard Taft, William Jennings Bride, William Tell, whoever. Their spirit is dead, if they ever had one. It's gone. You're building a rat ship here. A vessel for seagoing snitches. And if you think you're preparing these minnows for manhood, you better think again. Because I say you are killing the very spirit this institution proclaims it instills. What a sham. What kind of a show are you guys putting on here today? I mean, the only class in this act is sitting next to me. And I'm here to tell you, this boy's soul is intact. It's non-negotiable. You know how I know? Someone here, and I'm not going to say who, offered to buy it. Only Charlie here wasn't selling. Sir, you're out of order. Out of order? I show you out of order. You don't know what out of order is, Mr. Trask. I'd show you, but I'm too old. I'm too tired. I'm too fucking blind. If I were the man I was five years ago, I'd take a flamethrower to this place. Out of order. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I've been around, you know. There was a time I could see. And I have seen boys like these, younger than these, their arms torn out, their legs ripped off. But there is nothing like the sight of an amputated spirit. There is no prosthetic for that. You think you're merely sending this splendid foot soldier back home to Argonne with his tail between his legs, but I say you are executing his soul! And why? Because he's not a bad man. Bad men. You hurt this boy, you're gonna be bad bums. The lot of you. And Harry, Jimmy, Trent, wherever you are out there, fuck you too! Stand down, Mr. Slade. I'm not finished. As I came in here, I heard those words. Cradle of leadership. Well, when the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And it has fallen here. It has fallen. Makers of men. Creators of leaders. Be careful what kind of leaders you're producing here. I don't know. If Charlie's silence here today is right or wrong, I'm not a judge or jury, but I can tell you this. He won't sell anybody out to buy his future. 
And that, my friends, is called integrity. That's called courage. Now that's the stuff leaders should be made of. Now, I have come to the crossroads in my life. I always knew what the right path was. Without exception, I knew, but I never took it. You know why? It was too damn hard. Now, here's Charlie. He's come to the crossroads. He has chosen a path. It's the right path. It's a path made of principle that leads to character. Let him continue on his journey. You hold this boy's future in your hands, committee. It's a valuable future. Believe me, don't destroy it. Protect it. Embrace it. It's gonna make you proud one day, I promise you.